Hello everyone, this is Sir James, your virtual teacher. Welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa concept of proportion. Ang ating objectives ngayon, first, we're going to define the meaning of ratio and proportion. Second, Illustrate the meaning of ratio and proportion using pictorial models. Lastly, form a proportion using pictorial model. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating bagong aralin ngayon, mahalagang malaman muna natin ang basic concept ng proportion. Sa ating illustration, meron tayong two dogs and three cats. Kung paghahambingin natin ang bilang ng dogs sa bilang ng cats, ito ay 2 is to 3. Ito ay tinatawag nating ratio. Again, ratio compares two quantities. Ito ay pagkukumpara ng dalawang quantity o bilang. Ngayon naman, kung dotoblihin ko yung bilang ng aso at bilang ng pusa, Ito ay magiging 4 is to 6. This time, meron tayong nabuong dalawang equal na ratio. Ang tawag natin dito ay proportion. Proportion is the equality of two ratios. Ating tandaan kung ang ratio ay paghahambing ng dalawang bagay, o dalawang numero, ang proportion naman ay ang magkatumbas na dalawang ratio. Meron tayong parts of proportion. Sa ating example, na 3 is to 6, as to 1 is to 2, ito ay sinulat ko sa colon form. Ito ay binubuo ng apat na term. We have the first term, second term, third term, and fourth term. Kung saan ang ating first term at ang ating fourth term ay tinatawag nating extremes o sila yung mga nasa labas na bahagi ng ating proportion. At ang second term naman at ang third term ay tinatawag nating means o yung mga nasa loob na bahagi ng ating proportion. Paano nga ba malalaman na ito ay proportion? Kung ang dalawang ratio ay ang product ng kanilang extremes, that is 3 times 2 is equal to 6, ay dapat equal sa product ng kanilang means. 6 times 1 is equal to 6. So, ang product ng ating extremes ay 6 at ang product ng ating means ay 6. They are equal. So, therefore, our two ratios are proportion. So, again, in a proportion, the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. At ang ating proportion ay pwedeng isulat sa paraang colon form. For example, 1, example number 1, 2 is to 3, as to 8 is to 12. The product of the extremes, that is 2 times 12, is equal to the product of the means, that is 3 times 8. So 2 times 12 is equals to 24. 3 times 8 is equals to 24. Two ratios are equal, then they are proportion. Pwede rin naman natin isulat ito sa paraang fraction form. That is, 2 is to 3 as to 8 is to 12. So to compare these two ratios, we use the cross product or the cross multiplication. So we have 2 times 12 and 3 times 8. So 2 times 12 
is equals to 3 times 8. So 2 times 12 is equals to 24. 3 times 8 is equals to 24. So the two ratios are equal. Then they are proportion. Ngayon, subukan nga natin kung natuto ka sa araw na ito. Maaari mong sagutan ang mga sumusunod na katanungan. We use the cross product to verify the proportion. We have 4 times 24 is 96. 6 times 16 is also 96. So this time, we're going to tell whether the ratios form a proportion or not. Number 1. 2 is to 3 as to 4 is to 6. So let's try the cross product. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So 12 is equal to 12. So ibig sabihin, the two ratios are equal. So yes, it is a proportion. Example number 2, 4 is to 5 as to 8 is to 9. We use the cross product, 4 times 9 is equals to 36. 5 times 8 is equals to 40. 36 is not equal to 40. So, ibig sabihin that the two ratios are not equal. So, kung hindi sila equal, ibig sabihin, it's no. It's not a proportion. Example number 3, 12 is to 15 as to 4 is to 5. So, cross product, 12 times 5 is equal to 60. 15 times 4 is equal to 60. 60 is equal to 60. So, ibig sabihin, the product of two ratios are equal. So, it's a yes. It is a proportion. Sample number 4. Sinulat ko naman ito in a colon form. So, check the product of the extremes. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. Then, the product of the means. 5 times 9 is equal to 45. 40 is not equal to 45. So, ibig sabihin, the product of two ratios are not equal. So, if they are not equal, therefore, it is no. It is not a proportion. This time, we're going to write a proportion. So, if we have a problem, Sarah can type 90 words in 4 minutes. About how many words would you expect her to type in 10 minutes? So, para makagawa tayo ng proportion, kailangan nating magkaroon ng equal na ratio. Ang ratio natin dito ay ang number ng words to the number of minutes. So, ang una nating ratio ay 90 is to 4. At ang ating second ratio naman ay how many words would you expect her to type in 10 minutes? So, ang nawawala dito ay ang number of words. Pwede natin gamitin ang n to substitute the missing term so that it is n is to 10. So therefore, ang ating proportion ay 90 is to 4 as to n is to 10. Or in a column form, that is 90 is to 4 as to n is to 10. Example number two, we're going to write a proportion out of this 
illustration. So, kailangan nating makabuo ng dalawang equal na ratio. Ang paghahambingin natin dito ay ang malaking triangle sa maliit na triangle. So, we're going to write first a ratio of this big triangle. So, that is, we're going to compare the height is to the base of the big triangle as to the height is to the base of the small triangle. So that is, the height of the big triangle is 6 and the base is 10. That is, 6 is to 10 as to 3 is to 5. Example number 3, we are going to compare the number of apples to the number of oranges. The first ratio, we're going to have okay, apple to oranges as to the number of apple to oranges. So in our first ratio, that is 1 is to 3 as to 2 is to 6. Next example, a recipe that will make 3 pie calls for 7 cups of flour. Sarah makes 12 pies using 28 cups of flour. Write the proportion for the pie recipe. So, ang ating ratio rito ay ang number ng pie to the number of cups of flour. So, that is pie to the cups of flour as to pie to the cups of flour. So, in our first ratio, that is 3 is to 7 as to 12 is to 28. Last example, in a basketball game, Ken made 5 shots in 7 tries. At this rate, how many shots can he make in 14 tries? So, ang ating ratio rito ay ang number of shots to the number of tries. Number of shots as to the number of tries. Of course, ating second ratio ay number of shots to the number of tries. To our first ratio, that is 5 is to 7. As to how many shots? Nawawala yung number of shots. So we can use N to represent the number of shots. So that could be 5 is to 7 as to N is to 14. So kids, sana ay natuto kayo sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Hanggang sa susunod ulit nating video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ang virtual math teacher. Maraming salamat. Paalam!